What's cranking anglers? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to spool a spinning rod. Now before we get started, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers, and once we do, we're going to do an awesome giveaway. Don't want to waste any more of your time. I'm going to show you how to spool a spinning rod, and for that, we're going to need our rod and our reel. I have a two-piece here, so I have it just taken apart for easy, easier use. We're also going to need our line. The pound test is entirely up to you, depending on what you're fishing. I have a 12-pound test fluorocarbon here. We're also going to need a knife or a pair of fingernail clippers to cut our line. So let's do this. First thing we wanna do is lay down our line, nice and flat. We're going to open up the bail of our spinning rod. We're gonna tie a knot off around there. We want to use a cinch knot, something that's gonna tighten on itself. You can use a uni knot or whatever knot that you prefer. Tie this down on here, we wanna get it nice and tight. Struggling a little bit, but that's all right. Get that nice and tight. Pull. We want to cut off our excess line. Like that, we want to cut it as short as possible, so that way we don't have that excess line tying into the rest of it. Now we're going to close our bail, just like that. We're going to. Add a little bit of tension, we'll hold it up here. We're just gonna slowly reel this in until we have our spool about, I wanna say half to three fourths of the way full. We don't wanna overfill this because if you do, you're gonna run into backlash and stuff like that. It is possible with a spinning rod, I have done it. Just like that. Gonna reel the rest of this in. Once we have our line spooled I'm gonna add I'm gonna let out about a foot or two of extra line I'm gonna give it a cut set our line aside I'm gonna start running it up through the eyelets of the rest of the rod put my rod back together pull out the excess now you're ready to tie on your hooks, your bobbers, your weights, whatever you're going to use it for. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're trying to hit the 2,000 subscribers. You can also head on over to Monster Bass. They have a fantastic monthly subscription box where they load you up with some of the best baits. They have a box designed just for your area for bass. They also have a multi-species box. I have a link for that down in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.